Here's what happens when you're not paying attention. I left the GOP about eight years ago because I actually came to the realization that the GOP has sold us out. I will never give another dollar to the Republican Party ever again. The people in the party do not have our back. They don't have our back in Congress. They don't have our back at the state house. They don't have our back at any level of government. When it comes to wokeism, they're not fighting for us. They're fighting for their own power. People on the right are still being loyal to the Republican Party, and we watch the GOP sit there and say no to $2,000 for a stimulus plan for us, while they then approve billions of dollars for Egypt and Jordan and Pakistan and some Malia and all these other places. So what's happened with the Republican Party now is they've gotten corrupt. They've gotten so used to power and it's like it's a rotted tooth. So in order for us to fix that, we've got to go in there and get all that decay out. We got to primary people. We got to challenge them. And once we get that decay up, then we can actually build up the crown and make a nice strong root right there where we're now going forward and we're holding true to what the Republican policies originally of the 1865 how it was. That is what we want to go back to. A lot of people will not donate to the Republican Party. Good. Donate to the candidates. They're the ones that are out there doing the work. You say that you're running for the people, but how come nobody knows your name? You say that you want to give back and that we need to build people up. Well, how come you aren't out there showing people and giving back to the communities and getting Republicans elected from dog catcher up? And that's why I'm doing this. And that's why I want to make sure that we don't lose sight of what the Republican Party was actually founded on, but we build off of that and get rid of all of this corruption that's in there. There are good people in the Democratic Party, and there are good people in the Republican Party, but there's too much corruption in both parties. Right. I left the Republican Party, and I found a bunch of Democrats that give a lot of problems to their own party, like Diana DiZoglio, Katie Ives at the time as well. And if there's a Democrat out there that the insiders in the Democrat Party hate, those are the people I want to support. So Katie Ives was our state senator about five years ago. She came up with the idea of putting photo ID on EBT cards. I went to my local Tea Party rally in North Andover and asked if she could speak because this is someone we should be supporting because her party hates what she's doing. They refused to let her speak. So that's one of the reasons why I left the Tea Party, because if we're really about the issues, it shouldn't matter that she's a Democrat. She's here to talk about something we care about. Let's have her here and let's help her get that accomplished, because with Republican help, she can actually get this accomplished as a Democrat. So my strategy has always been since then was to just find one or two Democrats that are giving a lot of problems and support those people, because supporting Republicans has gotten me nowhere for 40 years. Because we run failing candidates. Yes. They don't actually support the candidates that are strong and have the backbone to go out there and be the voice of the people. They don't recruit people that actually can they win. don't recruit anyone right. and that's the problem they want to be have, the big fish in the little pond yes and they want to all keep the control of what they have now and they don't want to relinquish any of that or to invite new people in hence why when you talk about grassroots movement and everybody sees my what i've actually done you've done, as great, a you've real done great work you have done great work. but it's boots on the ground right. and it she is, comes out to all the rallies she's out at our rally yeah. she's out at the standouts she's going to be out at our rally on april 19th right. in yes. lexington on hastings Park. We have to stand up and we've got to lead by example. So you get out there, you're showing what you're going to do as a Republican, what we should be doing, and we want more people that are like this. And the way that we're going to do that is we're going to primary and challenge all of these rhinos that we have in there.